This is the new Cadex Rattel with the ND8 filter that you can just pop off. And today we're gonna talk about cameras. What we have here is a slew of new and old cameras. That's the Cadex Rattel, which is a micro. Sorry about my cat meowing, he's downstairs. Stop cat! This is uh, a Swift 3, I think is what it, this is. Yeah, Swift 3 with the full size lens. And then a mini camera, which is Runcam Mini without the brackets mini. And then an older full size camera. This is uh, an original Swift. So cameras have evolved quite a bit in the last couple of years. Um, at one time we were all flying full size cameras like this guy. And I really liked the quality of this camera and they kept getting it better and better until they got up to like the Swift 2. Then at one point the Swift Mini came out which is honestly the same exact quality as a regular full size Swift. And just almost immediately the Runcam Micro Swift came out which I don't have a sample here. Uh, and that was kind of the original micro camera that changed everything because even though the quality was slightly lower than the full size camera, it just was so light and so small that it became the standard for racing. For freestyle, I still did not like to fly because just the quality wasn't there and the freestyle rigs can run hold more weight, so I was fine running something heavier. Eventually I adopted the camera because I did a lot of racing and I wanted the lightest setup possible. I, but I've done a lot of experimenting with cameras. I've flown everything from Runcam to Cadex to um, Foxeer. And I've done things like interchanging lenses and testing things together. Like for example, I have a couple videos where I took the Micro Eagle and at 4.3 I wanted that wide dyna that dynamic range, that wide field of view that you couldn't get with a stock lens and I put a Runcam RC or RG25 which is a 2.5 lens and I, and I did the 170 field of view on 4.3 with that. There's a video here about that. That's not the only experiment that I've been doing. Check this out. So there's a couple of things we gotta keep in mind here. Nowadays, we are running micro cameras even on freestyle quads because the quality is there. For example, the Runcam Swift 3, the video quality really is very, very, very similar to the larger cameras. And I'm using this as an example, but the Swift 2 will be the perfect example. You can almost don't tell the difference between these two. You can, I think you almost cannot tell the difference between these two. So finally, in the last year or so, the micro cameras have become as good as the full-size cameras. And then in comes the Cadex Rattel. Now, I don't wanna make this a review about the Cadex Rattel, but I'm I'm blown away by this camera. It's just fantastic. It, I normally don't like CMOS cameras. I've tried to fly a couple, but I end up not flying them because I don't like the noise. The perfect thing about this camera is that it has that dynamic range that you get from a CMOS camera, but without the noise. It is the cleanest camera I've ever flown. So much so that I'm converting just about everything to the Cadex Rattel. And I think everybody knows now because it's hard to get in a stock. Now, what I really wanted to show you here is, for example, this camera is gonna go in certain frames where I normally run a full-size camera. And for that, the uh, Cadex makes this bracket, which basically it's just a metal stamped bracket that goes on, actually goes the other way. And what it does is that it will give you the spacing necessary to put it where a um, full size camera goes. Like that. Come on. Okay. And of course, Runcam has the plastic one that goes on there like that. The screws are in the way, but it goes under like that. So the thing with these is that it allows you to put these micro cameras in a full size frame. Yes, the bracket adds some weight. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna test that right now. If we take the full size camera here, this camera weighs 14.7 pounds, so around uh, pounds, 14.7 uh, grams. So it's close to 15 grams. And we take this one with a full size lens and this is 11 grams. And we take this guy without the filter and it weighs 8.6 grams, just almost almost half. If we take the bracket and we add it to there, we have 14.5 uh, 
grams so you're not saving any weight but if you have a couple of these cameras you can still run it now here's a cool thing about about this this bracket from run cam is actually kind of heavy to be honest it's 3.2 grams where the simple metal one from cadex is only 2.1 so it's actually lighter and here's the takeaway with all this even though i found this kind of expensive it's like 399 seriously cadex 399 for this it does fit the run cam cameras just fine i wish i had taken these screws off and as you can see the cadex bracket fits the run cam just fine and there's two holes so you can adjust how deep in your frame it will go so if you want to save a little weight you can opt for this metal bracket by Cadex instead of the one from Runcam and vice versa. The little Cadex Red Tail fits perfectly in the Runcam mount. Check it out. So you can run that in there too. And there's more to it. The ND filter, honestly, it's kind of loose. I think we have to like either glue it on or maybe just use hot glue so it doesn't come out. It's kind of a neat idea because this camera tends to get some lens flare, it is very sensitive. So in broad daylight, it's good to run the ND filter. Uh, but check it out. You can also run it on the wrong kind of full size lens. In fact, it's even tighter on there. So again, like I said, I do a lot of experimenting and this sort of thing is the stuff I like to find where you can combine stuff from different manufacturers. And the filter there and the bracket there. So yeah, uh, keep experimenting. This sort of thing sometimes brings to the table combinations that you didn't have before and it makes for really some really cool builds. Or it can help you solve a problem where you're doing a build and you're like, I can't get this to work and then combining different parts of different manufacturers can get you results like this. And like I said, this camera, Really good. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to the channel, it's growing very well. And hit the bell button so you get notifications and I'll see you in the next one.